Hi, we worship friends. This is Teacher Donna. You know, all month long we've been talking about Easter and we've learned that Jesus is alive and he wants to be our friend forever and ever. That's a long time. Now, when Jesus came back to see his disciples and his friends, they met on a beach, if you remember, and they sat down, they had breakfast, and they just visited, and they talked, and they shared stories, and they were doing what friends do. They were just spending a lot of time together. And one day, Jesus said to them that he wants them to climb up a mountain and meet with him there. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever climbed a mountain, but that seems like um, uh, you need a lot of energy and you need some, some help to do that. I actually, when I go walking, I use some special poles to help me. And they, they help me so that, that I can um, walk without falling and I won't um, trip. or And they, they just make it feel sturdier for me to, to climb and to do a lot of walking. So anyway, I think the disciples were used to doing a lot of walking because they didn't have cars, they didn't have um, bicycles uh, back then, so they probably were good walkers. And they met him on top of the mountain. And Jesus was waiting for them there. And you know, I suppose he, they were very curious about why he called them all the way up there to talk to them. But he said to them, I have a job for you to do. Wow, a job. And they must have been very curious to know what that was going to be. But he didn't leave them waiting very long. And he said to them, I want you to go and tell everyone, everywhere, that Jesus is alive. And he wants you to follow him. That is what he said to them. All right, let's let's do that again. So these using these actions help us to remember. So he said, go and tell everyone everywhere that Jesus is alive and you can follow him. That's a very important assignment. And you know, he he gave that assignment to the disciples and they did that. And he's giving you the same assignment. So that's why we need to know this, this um, actions to help us remember. So let's do it again. Go and tell everyone, everywhere, that Jesus is alive and you can follow him. You know, I'm gonna give you an assignment today. I'd like you to, to um, demonstrate that to, to two people. So when I say demonstrate, I just mean practice saying these words with these actions. So one more time, we're going to do it. Go and tell everyone, everywhere, that Jesus is alive and you can follow him. Mm, you're doing great. And also, all month long, we've been, we've been um, remembering our uh, memory verse, and we've been practicing that too with some action words. So they, they are something we're gonna do right again right now too. Okay. I am alive forever and ever. Revelation 1, 18. So who is alive? Jesus is alive. Right. You are doing great. And I know that we are going to have a lot more fun learning new Bible stories next month because we're going to le learn a new memory verse and uh, we're going to hear a lot more stuff about Jesus and how he loves us and he wants to be our friend forever. See you next week.